You know my least favorite thing about buying shoes is locally, a lot of the shoes around here, they say, oh, they're just vanilla, which is fine. I'm a simple gal. I like colorful Converse, colorful chucks, you know, but yeah, but yeah. down to the nitty gritty, I'm a... Every uh, once in a while, wear some Adidas. Yeah, well, I'm, black a, or I'm, white. I'm a black and gray chuck guy. That's Yeah, and I, I guess what I'm getting to is that the black and white or the white on black. And then I struck gold with the red, uh, the black on red. Excuse me, the red on black. Adidas. You can right? do this, yeah. I got this. Excuse me, what pisses me off, though, is these things exist. Now, th not those. Those are runners. I don't want runners. I want, like, old school classic Adidas. Red on white. White on red. Only exclusively online, and then when you click on them, they're sold out forever. Really? Yeah. You can't. Does Adidas doesn't have a custom? Oh, I'm sure they do, but I'm. I haven't dropped an album in like ever, so <laughs> I can't afford that shit today. It's we're doing this. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that that's my that's my rant for the day. Rant over. If you want to go fund me, uh, some red and black. Oh shit! I already have them. Some white and red Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> then, then please do, and uh, I will not pay you back. You know what I don't like? Thank you. Is the Converse trainers? Those look weird. Yeah, me. yeah. It's a little they, they're that style. That yeah. weird like arched back, and yeah. then I don't, I don't like squishy shoes. Like, see this shoe right here? Not one part of that. Like you, you spill anything, wet. Yeah. Shoe wet. Yeah. Good luck walking in the rain. Good luck walking. Yeah, yeah, in the rain. I don't say anywhere, but I guess you could walk oh. anywhere with those. I, w I just don't like them. I don't like them. I like, I like what I like. I used to be infatuated with DCs. I still kind of am on certain uh, styles. Certain styles, I'm still yeah. like, yeah, yeah. But for the most part, man, they're just getting like Nikes. <clears throat> Nikes have got everything but like wheels on them these days. It's too much. Too much is too much. I'm a simple gal. I like simple things. You're an old-fashioned gal. Missionary only for you. I love a good old fashioned every now and again. <laughs> nothing's wrong. In the words of my mother, nothing's wrong with a good old fashioned. Uh, uh, mm. Mm. What's going on, everybody? It's Diego and Cruz, and this is Inked and Chattered. Fresh, fresh out of Cleveland, Ohio. Do you want to get in here? Get in here. Yeah, I'm still kind of groggy. We drove in like what should have been seven hours. Ended up being a 12 hour drive. Thank you, GPS. <laughs> Thank you, GPS, for taking Look, us through the backwoods. So the next time you decide to, you know, venture off the path, don't. You don't. You don't go off the highway whenever you're in bumfuck Egypt, Kentucky, at all. You don't do it. I knew we were close to the border, though. I knew we were close to the border. I could yeah, hear that. Yeah, that's the, why it started fucking up on you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That the whole GPS just started spinning. And then it started doing this, and I thought, well, now, now I'm fucked. And then it showed my location out in the middle of like a field, and my my blue traffic line was over here. And I thought, well, this is it. This is how we're gonna die. We're gonna say, I I seen deliverance. I know what happens next, <laughs> and I accept it. Challenge accepted. Mm. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> you ever seen the hills have eyes? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. That's what would happen up there. You think so? We're wrong turn. No, nah, probably wrong. Turn wrong turn. People, it's know? wrong turn. Yeah. But hills have eyes. Yeah, it's more of they're advanced. They've learned how to hack your phone to oh, where you mm. you venture off your maybe you venture off into the unbeaten path. That's too much. Now you're freaking me out, man. Stop. I'm the leprechaun <laughs> with phone skills. I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> Stop, man. Freaking me out. Oh man. So yeah, we're back. We're back uh, just like that. We were in Cleveland yesterday evening, late. Yeah, we were leaving the hotel. Around this time. Yeah. Yeah, and now, now we're here. Now we're back in Inked and Chatted Studios. Ugh. and um, I'm exhausted. I am exhausted is the word for it. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can't. My, my feet, feet hurt. feel like mush. <laughs> my, my feet hurt. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, my ankles. I don't know what it's like to be pregnant. I have swollen ankles, so I'll never compare it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and compare it. It's got to be like what it's like to be pregnant and have swollen ankles. Ooh. I just lost it? half of our listeners. No, no, it's now fine. we only have two. Yeah, now we went <laughs> from five to two. That's half. <laughs> no, my body hurts, bro. We walked. Like, I didn't think about it on the way home, uh, driving, trying to stay awake. I got on my phone, and then I was like, 
everybody has that heart monitor or whatever built in their phone. I and mean, I kept my phone in my back pocket all weekend. Friday, I walked six miles. Saturday, wa- walked Damn, four miles. Damn, I didn't even think about yeah. checking that. And then <sighs> Sunday, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I walked an extra two miles than normal. It's weird. I didn't go anywhere different. <laughs> Yeah, that's my fault. Okay, I, I tried you know, to take us even... to a restaurant. It was inside a <laughs> it, goddamn it was, closed stadium. It was in the inside the uh, <clears throat> Cleveland Indians Progressive Fieldhouse. Yeah, in, in the uh, um, in, in their baseball stadium down there in downtown Cleveland. Uh, I ain't even mad at it though because I like I like downtown settings. That's kind of my yeah. Yeah, you know, I wasn't even mad at it. Like I was a little mad at it. The, I know you were mad at it because because we were a little crunch for time. We crunch just had for enough time. time to get something to eat. We and, and come we back. we walked past the freeway. If you notice, <clears throat> yeah. And then trying to book it on the way back, we went three quarters of the mile the wrong, the wrong way. way. Yeah, yeah. And and ran into ah. what I don't think you've seen it, but I know what I said. I know what a scene, boy. What'd you see? I see. <laughs> we were walking when we realized we'd went too far. Yeah. We both stopped. I guess the the sudden stopping of two people walking down the sidewalk in downtown Cleveland startled old man Jenkins that was getting what I know, what oh, I see yeah. was the yeah. old fashioned there in his Escalade by. He was probably getting a little bit more than the old Something fashion. with a blonde wig. He was getting the old slop top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's what was going on. And me, I was kind of like, I was kind of <laughs> tired a little bit as well. So I was kind of just looking at Hey, what are you doing in there? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Line starts behind him. Uh, so, so, yeah, <laughs> then we had to kind of double back. And, hey, we, no harm, no foul. We got back in time. Um, got to meet lots of lovely homeless people. Lots of lovely homeless people. Uh, which, you know, and I'm sure there's a bad part of every t- every part. Of it. There's bad and good in Nashville. Cleveland wasn't that bad. I'm sure some people argue with that, but Cleveland wasn't that bad. No, it, yeah, it kind of reminded me of uh, I don't know during during the summer downtown Nashville is pretty pretty rough. It's getting there. That uh, that little park that's just um, right beside um, what's that fucking street called? The main street. Um, Broadway. Yeah, Broadway. Yeah. <clears throat> that that park that's just on the corner of Broadway. You mm-hmm. know where it starts. Mm-hmm. That park is fucking terrible, dude. There's all sorts of people sleeping on the on the bench. I had one guy come up to me and give me a fist bump. And just from his fist bump, like I could feel how cold his hands were right. before his fist touched mine. Oof. Yeah. That's rough. That's rough. And it was cold in Cleveland. It was cold. It yeah. Was... Yeah, being right there next to Lake Erie. On it. We were basically on it. Like yeah. We were right there by... Yeah. Everything. All that cold wind coming in, in the morning. Yeah, that's yeah. That was the that was the roughest. On top part. of it already being thirty degrees. Yeah, yeah. was that wind? But uh, yeah. I, oh, we almost seen uh, a bum fight. We well, we seen we seen the beginning of one. Yeah. If if we did not ran if we'd ran into two aggressive bums, it would have been better. What like, do you say? <laughs> not necessarily better, but we'd we'd have got the rest of the action while we were drinking our our coffee. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we were getting out. We so we were getting out of the car, going to walk into Dunkin' Donuts. <clears throat> before we went to the convention center, because we thought maybe hey, Starbucks is going to be closed in the convention center. So let's yep. do this. Get out of the car. Hear two dudes arguing. Yeah. Then we get <laughs> then we get asked for I think a dollar. I think is what we got asked for. Hey man, you got you got a spare change. You got a spare change. change. Yep. change. Yep. And you know we just did the thing where you just walk by him, whatever. Uh-huh. And then next thing we hear is we're walking away. Man, I ain't fucking with you. And for whatever reason, <laughs> I just turned my like I turned my head back when I heard that, like because I didn't know if he was talking to us or whatever. Because I was just gonna shoot him a smile because that you know it's yeah. just, I'm an asshole yeah. like that. I think. And as I turned my head, simultaneously I heard, thunk. <laughs> one, the one guy had a, uh, what I can describe as the old school bubblegum buckets, the bucket with the handle, it's or a, or a, a trick or treat a, pumpkin. It's a five bucket. gallon bucket. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. A, it wasn't five gallon. Yeah, it was a five gallon. Was it a five gallon yeah, bucket? It was a five gallon bucket. Man, that's why that had such a ring to it. Yeah. Like I just so happened to turn around simultaneously with him hitting that other guy with that bucket. His, <clears throat> what did you call it? The P spare change bucket? P change bucket. P change bucket. Yeah. yeah. It pees in it at night. Yeah. And then 
whoosh, yep. washes it out in the street That's and then rough. collects change in it. That's rough. That, but then, but that was it though. Then, because I was like, oh shit, here we go. Let's get across the street. I don't want to be in the middle of this. Yeah. And we turned around and <laughs> homeboys fucking whack him upside the head with a five gallon. Yeah. Bucket. And then he, then he kind of just went off on down down the road, and I was like, well, there goes that. Good thing. <laughs> Good thing. Good thing he didn't hit me or you. I didn't. <laughs> I, don't I know. wouldn't. I was just like, aggressive. Ah. He was aggressive. Man, like I don't know. The downtown settings. I love them. I'm always going to be a sucker for big buildings and. Oh no! It reminds yeah. me of. I love it. Yesteryear. What, <clears throat> what you I, can't you can't see shit like that and just uh you know mm-mm. walking into TJ Maxx here in Cookville you know. <laughs> those are the things about the I big live buildings for. or the, the hump again. Oh the oh both. The bo- both all the above. Yeah. All the above. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't just. You know, almost catch a bum fight and then try to hurry up and duck and donuts, get your coffee, and sit down for the show. Yeah, but. it's it's tough to do. It's because we live in a, a rural town, like yeah. It's it's a college town, basically. It's like Louisville, but smaller. It's yeah, Louisville, yeah. Kentucky. It's like a quarter of Louisville. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of that same vibe. You got the college at the end of the town, and all the little strip malls and and restaurants and shit at the beginning of the town, and then all the people in the middle. So yeah, we're like we're like a we're like a baby Louisville down here. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. What I hate is that we didn't have more time to get out and look around. Yeah. And what I hate even more is that we were like, fuck, man, because we got in super late on Thursday. Mm-hmm. And then I, declaring it now, I, I'm not, I may not eat. I may go on that juice diet for the oh, next 10 yeah. days. I feel like shit, bro. Like, that's why I don't eat like that while we travel. But I gained 40 pounds of water from all the MSG. <laughs> Maybe not MFG, but whatever we it is, McDonald's. We, like, didn't, we, we didn't prepare no, for food. Nope. And then we ate McDonald's for three days straight. And then on Sunday, as we're leaving the fucking hotel, we realize, oh, hey, there's a Chinese restaurant beside us. Oh, Directly hey, there's a fucking grocery store right across, across from the us. street. Yeah. Yeah, so I've, I feel like a horse's <laughs> patoot. <laughs> that beer and food. That's all we needed. Yeah, that's all, that's all we needed. Literally, we... We were scouring the town looking for these things, and they were right in front of our apartments the entire time. Which, big props to you. You found, like, I'm never going to be able to stay in a motel room again after this Oh, weekend. yeah, that. Bro, that's spoiled. Like, that's bigger than our for apartment. For whatever reason, the cheapest the cheapest option was staying in that rental apartment. Yeah. And it was yeah. nice, nice and roomy. Nice and roomy. Didn't have to worry about bothering anybody. You know, floor. Somebody wanted to go to bed and somebody didn't. Kind of overlooked the Lake Erie and Canada. You're welcome mm-hmm. for the scholastic <laughs> knowledge. Is power. And you thought I was bullshit, and I was like, "Yeah, hey, that's Canada." No, I'll get the fuck out of here. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was thinking. I don't know why. I was thinking Michigan was like right on the other side of that. And well, then, if if I think if you were go a little further west yeah if you were to go to like toledo maybe michigan is yeah. up from there yeah and you got well, where we were at it's yeah. detroit and warren and then i think it's toronto after that or something like that but i, I got you know me like I, I get these wild hairs up my ass and i'll google the most random shit so i thought I, I know for sure that the canadian border is somewhere in lake erie but as far as the actual shoreline of whatever town that is that's across direct it's 50 miles yeah and they call it a 50 mile Shit, I can't remember. I, I was looking at it this morning as I was driving, of course, trying to stay awake. Um, it's called the 50 Mile Mirage. That's what it is. And there's pe- there's Clevelanders that claim that on a very, very, very clear day that you can see, um, you can see the shoreline of of Canada and the, and the and the buildings down there. Really? And I, I, there's pictures online and shit from like right there on like by the Brown Stadium and the yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Like, I guess it's a thing. But I mean, I know, I know that probably, I don't know how many miles out is the technical border. You know, if you look at a map, you know, if you were to take a little tugboat and go out into the water, probably about four to five miles. I don't know. I know next time we need to cross the border and go have some bacon pancakes. That sounds amazing. Yeah. That sounds amazing. If uh, if any of you live in, in Canada and you want to... Smuggle us across the border in a in a tote. We don't have to. And uh, we can get into Canada. It'd be fine. Do you have a passport? You need a passport now, man. <clears throat> oh, do you? Yeah, you need a passport for Canada. You need a passport for Mexico. I'll write it in green crayon. There you go. This I, is the passport. I I is twelve. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we. I mean, as close as you can get, you can go to Buffalo, and look at Canada, on the Niagara side. 
on the uh, Buffalo yeah. Niagara Falls side, which we had a friend that was up there. She finally got there after like four days. Like, she finally got in to Buffalo to go see Niagara Falls. It was, <laughs> it was like, uh, you know what I'm talking about, Rachel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah like I was she, really blank on that. I was yeah, because like, she, she was struggling room. getting to Niagara <laughs> Falls, and I was like, on the Canadian <clears throat> side? She's like, no, on the Buffalo side. I, said, oh. I don't stay up so late, girl. But <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Missing flights and shit. Yeah. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, uh, also, I'm, I'm glad that we at least caught, um, we went to the Winking Lizard, which is where yes. my older brother runs one of those in Columbus. Yes. So he was the one who recommended me going. It was really good. Fucking huge. The biggest beer selection, the biggest whiskey selection yeah. I have ever fucking seen. Dude, I even went out on a limb, too, and I looked at it, and then I ordered a Corona. <laughs> you didn't even look at it when I you didn't ordered look that at bitch. It. I just said, Corona, please. Yeah. Whatever. You said you're an old fashioned gal. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the Winking Lizard in Cleveland, Ohio. Big props to you guys. Shout out. Anytime we're back in Cleveland, we're going to hit you up. Uh, and I'm sure in Columbus too. Go to your brother's joint. Yeah, and I'm sure it's it's equally as good, if not better. Probably it's better. It's family. It's probably yeah. better. It's probably That's better. Right. That's right. Go, go Browns, huh? <laughs> go Browns. So I got a buddy that is from Cleveland. He lives <clears throat> um, close to us here now. Uh, posting all the pictures I posted and everything, and with the Brown Stadium being legitimately across the street from us all weekend. That's all I kind of recognize. So I sent him a picture. And I was like, go Browns, you know, because I hate the Browns, you know, it is what it is, but <laughs> he's a big fan, and, and uh, he's like, hell yeah, and he starts giving me all these landmarks to go to, and uh, one of them was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, he's like, did you go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame too? And I was like, man, I, I mean, I know it's in Cleveland, but I don't know how fucking far away that is, like, we're busy right now, and so I was like, no, I'll have to check it out eventually once I find it, and that's what I said to him, and I know in his mind, him knowing me like he does, he he probably knew that I didn't know where it was at. It was in the same fight. Like, okay, backstory on a that. A block away from the convention center. Yeah, it, it was yeah. legitimately <clears throat> the little speck to the right of the photo that I sent him of the Brown Stadium. Because <laughs> I was like, bro, I don't know where that's at. And it was like, it was like. It was just like peeking out. The yeah, little... It was like Brown Stadium here, and then the space, the space module, and then you had uh, Pelican Poop. Poop docks, and then yeah, rock and roll Man. hall of fame. So I feel I once again feel like a horse's ass, you know. And uh, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what I get when I go somewhere for something, and we're so focused on it, and we got and we just got so much to do because that tattoo convention took up our weekend big time. Between you getting your entire chest tattooed, oh yeah, like yeah. show the Americas, show oh, the world. Resorts. Yeah, it's so big. It's so, it's so, so big. It's so veiny. It's so veiny. Yeah, there it is. It does look good, All though. Glory. It does look good. Um, <clears throat> that was planned. That was planned for you to get that tattoo the entire time. And then day three, so day, at the end of day two, and, and shout out to our boy Fred Obedier at Revelation Inc. Tattoo Studios in Smithville. Uh, of course, he's a sponsor of Inkton Chattered, uh, by the way, we didn't mention that. Inkton Chattered, <laughs> brought to you by Revelation Inc. Tattoo Studios in Smithville, Tennessee. Uh, if you need tattoos <clears throat> or piercings, hmm? you like what I did right there? Hit Ooh. up uh, hit up Fred Obedier or Corey Ro Ward um, or their piercer right there at Revelation Inc. Tattoo Studios in Smithville, Tennessee. See what I did? <laughs> Master of dumb shit right there. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? I digress. You were talking about your game. Yeah. Your, yeah, yeah your my, so I was like, the original <clears throat> plans were let's go uh, a month and a half, almost two months ago. Fred was, because I'm there at the shop a lot. And uh, he's like, hey, there's a tattoo convention, Villain Arts Tattoo Convention in Cleveland. Uh, there was one in Columbus. There's one in Nashville. There's one in Myrtle Beach. I mean, there, there's like 15 stops this year for this thing. Um, he's like, would you want to go to the one in Cleveland? I was like, fuck yeah, let's do it. He said, I want to enter a piece. I said, that's that's amazing. He goes, uh, just let me let me tattoo your chest. And I was like, yeah, I mean that's fine, but like I'm pretty well covered. Mm -hmm. Like I have a little spot here and there, my arms, my back, my stomach, my chest, everywhere except for my legs. And I just don't want to waste time on my legs right now, um, because I just don't want to get my legs tattooed at this time. So I was like, yeah, here's a better idea. Take Cruise. That's a that's a fucking blank canvas. If you want to, you know, 
if you want a better shot at a, a bigger piece for uh, you know something uh, yeah trophy, for shock value yeah, yeah so let's go do that so that's how that was born <clears throat> and then it become a it become a threesome uh, <laughs> on the road but fast forward to Saturday night um, he had. Oh, uh, what's the word for it? He had appointments, but they were TBA to be to be announced to TB TBP to be predictable, <laughs> and uh, some of them didn't show. And I think he knew that in the back of his mind. So what did he do? He, he called up the old righty off the bench. He said, "Uh, it was yesterday that he." Yeah, well, I'm t- he told me Saturday oh, night though. Okay. He kind of yeah. put it put that bug in my ear. He's like, "Hey, I'm, I may need to do a, a piece on you," and I was like, "Yeah, okay." where <laughs> where for anything you know worth judging and uh he's like well what do you got left and i said well, i got this little piece no i got at least a little right here on my chest and uh he's like yeah I, i've already got a sketch he already had it he already knew he yeah, knew he knew he knew and so sunday got there and, and we waited and i got the call i said okay let's do this shit and uh i'm already i'm not cold natured i hate cold I'm warm blooded, but getting tattooed, I instantly my endorphins just drain out like quickly. Cause I could feel bad for you um, all day Friday. I yeah, because for whatever reason, the first day in there, it was freezing it was ass fucking cold. So cold, and it was so cold <clears throat> back in the corner where all the where all the vendors and the and the performers were at, where I stayed most yeah. of the day Friday. And granted, this only took him five hours to do. Right. You know. Right. Thankfully, but, but every single time he stopped tattooing, just for like. 10 minutes five minutes or one of us had to pee yeah <laughs> yeah you just, just sitting there you're, chattering your endorphins don't but no matter the size of the tattoo for especially for as big as that one and where that piece is at um, i'm a hot nature person though i don't ever get i don't ever right. get cold getting a tattoo but but, but. I, I knew i knew it was going to happen just just the, the size of it just the size of it alone because especially after the outline and then you got to go back through the shading and then the white too yeah the yeah. white too like it it was to yeah, be expected I sat up for the white um but uh <clears throat> but yeah so i ended up getting tattooed got a little piece on my chest and and so then i was cold and then it was time to go get judged so i was like oh my god i don't want to go you know like we got to go so up yeah here. then he entered me and yeah, two we, more me and you yeah me and you both had to go to the back and and by this time it was cold again and shirtless standing there cold trying to keep this thing fresh and clean get the blood out of the look because i got it's got white eyes and shit like that shivering shivering and as we look there's all these you know chicks with these badass pieces like full body pieces shirtless you know pantsless like just art for you know for art purposes mm-hmm. and they're just hey, no, 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 i'm over here going <laughs> in this little bitty piece like i'm not fucking dying um so then I had this one, like, there was photographers and everything everywhere. So he started, he comes up and he starts taking pictures of my other piece. And I was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? This, what is this for? And uh, he's like, Which oh, one? Which one was he? I I don't remember. I don't remember. I think he was a local photographer there. So I'm sure. No, which piece was he taking a he picture He took of? a picture of, uh, he took a picture of the condor. I don't know if you can see that there. That one right there. Took a picture of the condor. He took a picture of uh, San Jose tattooed oh, across yeah. my stomach, and then he took a picture of something else on this arm. I don't know exactly what it was. I think it might have been the 408. It might have been the 408. So if you see that in a tattoo magazine anywhere in Ohio in the next couple little bits, that's me. Yeah, he's like sick art, bro. Mm-hmm. Of course, I sent him. You know, back that way where Fred was sitting. I was getting candid shots of me while I was getting tattooed. Yeah. I just so happened to open my eyes, and I kept seeing flashes. And I'm, I'm laying, I'm laying on a massage table like this. Yep. And with I your, go, with your like pants that. off. Yeah, yeah, and I see this chick with the camera. I'm like, I don't want any pictures right now. <laughs> I don't want to take a picture right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> anybody and everybody that was anybody was there. Oh this yeah. This weekend. Tons of good artists. Uh, Picked up a couple prints. Over over 500 artists. can't remember that guy's name now. He didn't have a card. I wish he had a damn card. I know. It, it seems yeah. like the ones that I wanted the most didn't have cards. Yeah. Uh, like I talked from that. I talked to that one dude from L.A. And you know me. I, I'm, I'm from, I'm not from L.A., but I, I'm from the Northern yeah. Cali, which is a huge Hispanic influence as well. And so I'm a sucker for all that. Clearly, you know, clearly. And he was vintage. He had the, he had the car hop music playing. The mm-hmm. Tattooing shirtless, like just you know, he 
pompadour hairstyle. Like he was, that was it. And so went over there and talked to him. He had that badass flash, the big boy tattooed out, and he had Jesus yeah. sleeved out and uh, on that flash. And, and he didn't have a card. Like it seemed like the ones that I wanted, you know, yeah. didn't have cards. And I thought, shit. Well, whatever. I just remember your name. And I don't remember anybody's name. <laughs> yeah. It was too much to take in. It is. It was too much to take in. <clears throat> Plus the sideshow. They had sideshows all weekend, too. Um, they had Tyler Fire and uh, the Enigma, of course, which Fred yeah. ended up tattooing. <clears throat> they had that brother and sister act. Which was really good, and I can't remember. <clears throat> I can't they're, remember their name. They're, you're, they're like a nationally traveling then they had act the, as well. Um, Green Eggs and Slam. I can't believe I remember the name of that. The last day. <clears throat> yes. The very last day was an, an amateur wrestling show. Yes. It was called Green, Green Eggs, Eggs and, and Slam. Slam. It, was, it wasn't bad, actually. I it was wasn't expecting terrible. It, to be like, it wasn't terrible. They had some pretty good moves. Yeah. You know? It, it was entertaining. The professor. We got detention <laughs> slips from the professor for clapping. Yeah. Tattooed hooligans. Good time. I wanted a picture. M- mischievous. Oh, Mis- God damn it. Mis- <laughs> go ahead. Hooligans. <laughs> Hooligans. There we go. Good wings. Mischievous. I can't say the word. Mischievous. Mischievous. Deviants. No, mischievous. Mischievous. Sounds like a cheese from like Mississippi. Sounds delicious. Mischievous with my eggs and my. Yeah, brain. that character was weird. I didn't understand. That character, because the guy. Were you talking about the the professor? Yeah, the pro- yeah. Who okay. walked out with a, to the to the guy? Yeah, the I guy who was wrestling the girl who was a champion. Yeah, yeah, that was the other thing. It was a <laughs> dude wrestling a chick. Yeah. yeah, I didn't understand what what his angle was either. I didn't understand. Like it'd been different if he was dressed like Angus Young, like in a school right, boy outfit right. or whatever, or or something. But I get he was just the professor. He looked like Robin Williams from Goodwill Hunting. He did. You pointed that yeah, out right did. off the bat, yeah, because you were like, "Oh, dude, I've seen this movie before." Because <laughs> all the kids hate each other in the beginning, and then they all become friends. <laughs> oh, <Aww. laughs> so yeah, that that was uh, definitely awesome. Big shout out to uh, the city of Cleveland, Ohio. Also, the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention right there in Cleveland. Uh, we had a great time. It was a three day uh, three day expo, but I feel like we were there for five just because we did so much, seen so much, oh, yeah. took in so much. We got so many business cards. Um, Instagram is going to be lit up for the next little bit. I'll, actually, all of our um, social medias will be popping for the next little bit, in- including Twitter. Uh, I've been told that we're going to get into the Twitterverse. You've been told. Huh? Yeah, I've been told. Yeah. yeah. So I guess we'll, we'll do. Do as our producers ask us to do, and uh, we'll get on <laughs> Wait, Twitter. Wait, we're the producers. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we are the producers and oh, the writers, and just weird. sometimes though we, sometimes we get a little help from our friends. Yeah, our bosses. Our bosses. <laughs> ooh, ooh, we, we, we. Also, big, uh, big shout out to. Uh, oh, I already mentioned it, but the Enigma, uh, come by the booth, and Fred tattooed him yeah that was cool uh, that was pretty cool he's Uh, such a down-to-earth dude dude, he's one of the nicest people you would ever want to meet ever Uh, especially i mean all those people there you know i didn't run into a dick up there artist wise performer wise even people wise no yeah there was a couple you you see a couple you see a couple dicks i seen plenty of dicks (laughs) not in Uh, cleveland though is that what we're talking yeah no Oh. Please go on, continue here. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> no, there was a there was just a couple um not so pleasant people whenever we were going through our fast food, you know. Oh, that's different. No, no that is different. I, I know, yeah. I know. But yeah. other than that, yeah. everybody else was super nice. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Fuck uh, what everybody says about Ohio. Yeah, especially Cleveland. Yeah. Big big ups. Cleveland Cleveland rocks. Columbus, on the other hand, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that's that. That's where I'm from. And I... That's no bueno, huh? It's uh, people are real nice. Real nice. Share <laughs> all of our crack with you. Well, yeah. Which is good, though. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, sharing is caring, and I care. You've got more than I do. I'm going to get jealous. So go to, uh, go to our website, the Asylum Productions. 
uh, there you will see a little tab that says Patreon. Click on that, and uh, we thank you in advance. Please, please fill everybody in on what our Patreon account is. Oh, I was just going to wink at them. Oh. Ooh. Our Good Patreon enough. account. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, that's a wrap, bud. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> that's, uh, the Patreon is uh, just, everybody knows what a Patreon is. Just go to it. Donate what you can. There, there are a couple different tiers. Three, right? There's three, three tiers. different yep. tiers. Uh, you get different things. Perks, Whenever so you do uh, <laughs> donate monthly, um, you get a decal if you donate three dollars and a shout out. Uh, Five dollars, you get like the scenes, uh, uh, behind the scenes content, exclusive content, uh, the decal and the shout out. And then for ten bucks, you get behind the scenes exclusive shout outs, merch like. Shirts, hats, hoodies, <coughs> everything. Um, Excuse me. And then you're also eligible for giveaways for anything that, you know, if we ever get a print from a tattoo convention yeah, or, or if we or, get or, um, uh, concert tickets, concert if we, tickets, we get our hands you know, on anything. Yeah, you anything. Know, like, we, we give back. We give back to those who give. So thank you in advance, uh, hitting up the website, uh, the asylum.productions, and then click on the tab that says Patreon. Thank you so much for. Uh, for your membership, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Give me a little smooches. Mm -hmm. A little smooches for everybody. My computer's wanting to restart now. Can you see I'm in the middle of something right now? You just hit okay. What do I do? Uh, I got to read around it. How am I supposed to read what that is? Just hit okay. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, uh, while we're while we're in the uh, rhythm of shout outs, I want everybody to go. After you're done with our website, of course, uh, go to uh, dirtycomment.com. Um, it's actually on our website. Click that tab too. I think it'll be enjoyable. It's um, you ever seen Spinal Tap? And basically, it's Spinal Tap in outer space. Uh, very good friend of ours, James Robertson. He, James Robertson, he's a uh, Arthur. Arthur. Ugh, God, I can't. I'm he's still, a scientist. I'm still. Yeah. That, now that is legit. He's yeah. a scientist, uh, but he's also a published uh, author. Super he's, cool dude. He's got a couple ebooks out there. They're for free, so go hit up his website, uh, dirtycomet.com, for a good read. Entertaining is all these. That's what we're all about here is entertainment and sleep. And I, I'm I'm high on entertainment, but I'm low I'm low on sleep. I'm not exhausted. Sleep, I'm, you I, say. I'm I'm past the exhaustion yeah. point, but I'm just a I'm just a touch just a touch loopy loopy. Uh, one more thing on the convention there in Cleveland. Uh if you didn't go to that, if you didn't, if you had a chance to cover that bad bitch and you weren't there, man, you missed the fuck out. Like that was that was a great show. Like we sh you should have been there. We were there. Lots of lots of things to do. Lots, lots of things to check to out. Media coverage was drilled on. The easiest, the easiest media coverage you've ever wanted to do anything. Nobody bothered us. We didn't even have our lanyards on. Besides, you know, to for around the show. Yeah. The 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 access, the artist access, or whatever. Um, yeah, so so if you weren't there, you definitely missed out, uh, but we did not. We were there. So more pictures and all that shit to come on the website, the Patreon, on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. The special – oh, did I not? Yeah, I said Facebook. Did you say Facebook? Yeah, yeah. Facebook's starting to piss me off. I'll be honest with you. It's starting to – it's like the uh, it's like the girlfriend that you were really infatuated with because she had – all the right moves but then one day one day you caught her putting mayonnaise on your sandwich after you asked please don't put mayonnaise on that sandwich and you still wanted to deal with it for a little bit now i just can't take it anymore facebook's it, facebook's getting it's a weird analogy you know it's fine it sounds like a deep-seated issue about. you're dealing with there. yeah 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 you know who you are i'm not gonna put mayonnaise, mayonnaise on don't put mayonnaise on, on my fucking I'm sandwich i'm not gonna anymore. i know okay, you don't like you. mayonnaise i promise Jesus you do it Christ. again oh, fucking issues over here yeah, i'm gonna dump out all your proper 12. right now you're just fucking crossing the line all right make your 1.75 just a 0.75 i'm gonna take out your pillow in your pillowcase <laughs> by gallons of mayonnaise i'm gonna shape it perfectly to it looks like it's just a pillow a little, little innocent pillow laying on your bed and then you're gonna go lay down and squish <laughs> it's gonna be fucking mayonnaise just chock filled that, in your fucking pillowcase uh, don't pour out my proper 12 speaking of facebook like this is a kill you <laughs> don't go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> this was something i seen on facebook uh this weekend and 
I've got a strong stomach. I can see a lot of things. I've seen a lot of things. That it, that childbirth doesn't bother me. Hands, fingers, toes chopped off doesn't. Heads chopped off doesn't bother me. And I, I don't know. Animal cruelty gets to me. You'll you'll watch me turn away if I see something. The Sarah McLaughlin videos for the uh, McLaughlin. What? I, that's what I said. Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> In the arms, the arms of, of an angel. angel, I hear that song, Fly away. and I don't, I don't even don't even want to turn to the TV because I know what it's gonna be. But at an instinct, you're like, you turn <laughs> and you see it's the little chihuahua. The, it's always the yellow lab you catch first. It's always the yellow labs. It's always the chihuahua shivering in the cage for no reason for me. I'm like, <laughs> they shiver anyways. Oh, please just take all this money. <laughs> I don't need to make rent this this month. But uh. But yeah, that you know that now that gets to me. But I I seen something on Facebook that genuinely, it was grossing me out. Yet I couldn't stop watching it. Um, there was this lady on there. She took down four containers of mayonnaise. Just and it was the sound I think that was that was getting me more. <laughs> was it that sound? Yeah, more than anything. It sounded like an old Man, fucking just, 70s porno. The way you said. And she was just scooping it, and she was. Mm, mm, and I, was it Hellman's? Oh no! I don't know what it was. No, it it, it was labeled. Those helmets, that was, it was a big deal. It was labelless mayonnaise, and uh, oh. I just can't. I just can't. I can't. I ah. imagine it was real mayonnaise. Ah, man! Breaking news: uh, ESPN, the San Jose Sharks have just traded away Patrick Marlowe to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Son of a bitch! You were just talking about that this weekend. Yeah, too. I was talking about Joe Thornton getting traded away, though. I want to see him get a get a ring, but I'll take Marlowe too. Uh, go get that ring in Pittsburgh, Patty. I just become a Pittsburgh Penguin fan for the next two months. <laughs> I'm still a Shark fan in, in my heart, but I know we're done for the season. So, so damn it, that's there it goes. He just came back. Now he's gone again. Just just like my father. Just like my Except father. Except he never came back. He never came. Yeah, my dad never came back. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> At least Marlo came back in my life for a minute. <laughs> oh, man. Moving forward. So uh, this was the weekend. This, you know, and it, <clears throat> excuse me, it always shakes out this way. Uh, a good fight weekend, a good game, a playoff game. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, anything <clears throat> any, like it, this was the worst this was weekend the worst for anybody weekend. who likes to watch fights. Well, just to be on the road and, and you put it in. And then there's uh, yeah, that too, yeah. For us having to, to, to do the convention. Yeah, because uh, here we got like five different monitors. Yeah, dude, we can good. fucking set up every yeah. monitor or TV like screen we have in the in studio. Yeah. And we have a we have a B-dubs with better chi better chicken wings. Yeah, right? Yeah, so come on down if you ever want to. Just welcome. come down to the uh, Silent Production Studios. If you ever want to have good uh, chicken wings and some sports. And some street tacos. And some street tacos, we'll you right? Up. Damn, this was a weekend for fights. You know, and I don't even know what happened on that the Bellator card. Like, I was so enamored. No, because we could only we, we got to catch um, we, we, the Hooker and Felder fight, yeah, and then we, we had to hurry up and switch over to Tyson. and uh, We were uh, able to catch Deontay. Yeah, which both were amazing fights. Amazing fights. Uh, I, I still think Dan Hooker got the decision because he was home. It was one of those homeland decisions. It was, he's the younger fighter, he's the future, you know. It was a good fight. It, it was, was a, a good <clears> fight. It was a pretty even fight. I, th I think, if anything, I had a draw, once again. Like, Dan Hooker still got a lot of significant strikes. Now, they weren't as damaging right. or powerful as what Felder was throwing. Right, Felder right. was throwing some fucking some bombs. Boom, boom. He said, I mean, he got, I think he landed at least two spinning back elbows. Yeah. And every time he connected with that fucking overhand right, it was just, you could see Hooker's face. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, uh, fucking credit to Hooker, man. He's got a hell of a chin. I know <laughs> if I was getting hit like that multiple times, I'd be fucking done. Yeah, that that kid can take a punch. He can take a punch. There's no doubt in my mind there. Uh, that was a great fight. Um, yeah, and then uh, Felder may or may not fight again. Right. He, he said, I think this is it. I said, oh. Because <laughs> I like Paul Felder. I, I do, too. Yeah, I like yeah, he's, he's a, a good fighter. I think fighter. he's a real good fighter. Um, but, hey, you know, when you... Uh, Felder yeah. announced that he may or may not fight again, and then Dan Hooker, for whatever reason, Goes decided he was going to call out Justin, Justin, Gaethje? Justin Gaethje. Get it, son. Good luck. Good luck. Good fucking good luck. luck. That, that, that dude is a fucking monster. Hits like a choo-choo train. 
Juju train. I don't. I don't know if he'd be able to handle the pressure. I don't, I don't know. think he'd be able to handle the pressure. A cowboy couldn't. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Like. I don't. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe we're underestimating. Um, Hooker's I, got a hell of a reach, though. He's got that. He's yeah, got he that does. Going and he's him. not that tall. He's only what five eleven. No. Not even five eleven. Uh, I think he's. No, no. I think you are right. I think he is five eleven. He's our height. Yeah, he's five eleven. Yeah. Um, he yeah, reaches look at the my cereal. arms. I'm definitely 5'11". He reaches the cereal off the top shelf <laughs> without uh, getting the stool. He doesn't have to put his pots and pans in the, in the bottom <laughs> shelf. So embarrassing. <laughs> Don't tell everybody what we have to do to get the cereal. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was a good fight weekend. Uh, and, the, and then the boxing match of what they're calling is maybe our lifetime. Um, it was the biggest gate. It was the biggest buy. It was the biggest everything heavyweight boxing match or a boxing match overall uh that did not include the name floyd money mayweather um since 1999 when lennox lewis rematched um evander holyfield they're calling that that saturday night was the biggest fight ever beating all the records for that fight which is a big deal because that's when heavy that's when boxing was still in its prime Tyson. Do they not? Do they not throw Mayweather and McGregor into that? Because no, I know that wasn't a boxing match. They're talking about but that fight le- made a lot of money. Legit. Well, yeah, it made, made a lot of money, a and that's why I also said too. when your name's not Floyd Mayweather. They didn't. Okay, they don't loop that in. Yeah, because they, they mean like you. actual. And when I say this, I don't want to. I I mean, people are gonna be people. So no, you do, I know. I know. You do you're, what you you're do. talking about actual. Yeah, boxers, so like people yeah. are gonna attack me and be like, "Woo, yeah, man, money Mayweather," and fight somebody, right? Mayweather hasn't fought anybody since he got beat by, uh, I can't remember his name, but he's uh, from Nicaragua. Uh, this was probably about five, six years ago. Carlos Ma- Maidana. Carlos Maidana beat Floyd Mayweather. Go to the cards. You tell me he didn't. That was years ago. Oscar De La Hoya. by decision? Yeah, but, yeah. but of course Mayweather got the decision. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya beat Floyd Mayweather the first time second time around the Mayweather's a lot like Conor McGregor you give him a you give him another shot uh, to, to measure you up he's gonna embarrass you yeah he, in, uh, yeah you know and, and you have to give him that credit but but that yeah that's what I'm saying like I'm talking about an actual boxing match that people tune in because not because it's Floyd Mayweather versus just some random guy or like the number 23 guy that he wants to give a chance because it's everybody wants to see Mayweather da- razzle dazzle around the ring I'm talking about like legit. Holy shit! This might be actually what brings boxing back, or an actual boxing match. You ever sat through a Floyd Mayweather actual boxing match? Yeah. Aside from the McGregor one, mm-hmm. it's boring as fuck, bro. It's boring as fuck, and it's not even technically boring. Like um, he does the he does the champ style. He, he yeah he he plays it safe. He, he gets play, his points. He gets his points. He gets in. He gets out. Which I mean that you know you can't fault him. He's doing it. He's doing it right. But I just don't understand the draw. I've never understood the draw to that man. N- uh, Roy, now Roy Jones Jr. He's a winner. I mean, people yeah, love winners. Besides that, yeah. besides that, yeah. Roy Jones Jr. Yes, I see you all day long. Um, Tyson, of course. Holyfield, of course. Lennox mm-hmm. Lewis, of course. Uh, Roberto Duran. I mean, all all the greats that we're getting off into something that I just <laughs> aggravates me with boxing. But anyways, Saturday night, yeah, that was <clears throat> what they're they're touting as the best boxing match tyson fury looked fucking so fucking beast. good beast that was a man on a mission <clears throat> he was determined like, and i don't you know what i don't i think it would have been a completely different fight if tyson wouldn't have caught wilder with that that hook to the ear because you know that fucked up his equilibrium and it, it was did, just it did because it was after that he just stayed wobbly. Yeah. He stayed loose. His, he his, was, had his hands his down. Legs, he wasn't, his legs were just not yeah. under him. And even like, <clears throat> have you ever seen a De- uh, Deontay Wilder fight? He he doesn't plant and throw. He's never been. He's a yeah. But he's so big and he's so powerful. He, why you know if you don't need to, you don't do it, right? Mm-hmm. But he looked worse than he'd ever looked, which he's never looked bad like that. Of course. But the whole, and I agree with you, and, and Max Kellerman said the same thing after the fight. He said, uh, why is nobody talking about, he said, I'm going to go ahead and call it a cheap shot. I don't think it was a cheap shot. I don't think it was a cheap shot at all. He just he just caught him. It was just the way, for whatever while, whatever reason, Wilder kept on going under the six-foot 
what was he? Oh yeah, he Six kept foot, he kept going right 11, under his, or his yeah, armpit. Under his yeah. armpit. So <clears throat> when Fury went to punch him, he hit him. He hit him. He hit him in the back of the head, sort of back of the ear area. So every and, and that thing started bleeding instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Deontay Wilder was mad at his corner. So now I think we're getting a. Now I think we're getting a he said he said situation with the corners. The corner was trying to do what was best for him. He wanted to go out on his shield, as he said. He wanted to. He he said, "I'm a heavyweight. Heavyweight should go out by being knocked out." He was mad. He was mad. They threw in the towel. Like he said it after the I fight. I don't blame him. He said it. You know, later on, he. No, I didn't say hey Siri. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you you are sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, I would have been pissed too. Now, so he calls his corner out. He, he he said I lost fair and square for the like the the couple of minutes they had him there in yeah, the ring. Yeah, I lost fair and square. Tyson Fury is and was the better boxer, better fighter. No excuses. I don't make excuses. I just wish my corner would have let me finish the fight. So insert the corner. You wake up the next morning, <laughs> yeah. and it's his 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 uh, his manager or whatever said. Uh, what do they call it? The head trainer. His trainer. There we go. Yeah. I've been watching UFC for too long. <laughs> his trainer come out and said, well, the reason why he gassed was because he had that heavy <clears throat> costume on. Yeah. Nah, now, dude. Come on now. Come nah. on now. 235 pounds of just meat and cheese, and you're going <laughs> to yeah. tell me some some That whole some one LED minute lights. he fucking walked out yeah. in that fucking ridiculous get up. Some LED lights and some shoulder pads gassed him. Yeah. No, if, if that's the case, no, then sir. you're you did dude's he train not an wrong. athlete. You yeah, know did what he mean? trained wrong. And so there was that, and that got laughed at online, of course. And then now it's coming out that he's saying, which is making it look even worse, is that Wilder had a cut on the inside of his ear before the and he had and he had a bad leg. Now now we're hearing everything that was wrong with Dante Wilder. He had a, now I did see <clears throat> A lot in in the before the fight, mm. Wilder was getting stretched, stretched out his legs like a, a motherfucker. Lot. Yeah. yeah, he was getting stretched, and stretched. he was pacing a lot, keeping yep. him active. But so. they're saying that there was a cut on the inside, and when he got hit, that cut opened the cut. I don't believe that. I don't either. I don't either. Like I believe he got his fucking shit. I think ruptured, he got his, I think he got his ear jump and it ruptured. Fucked up his yeah. equilibrium. Yep. Yeah, because that that just. It was bad. He wasn't the same after that. Ooh. He looked okay before that. Yeah. But then after he got rocked with that. No. 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 But Ty, yeah, Tyson Fury is just a, an animal. That was. Oh my god. He's an animal. He was. My my favorite. There was. I had two favorite parts of the entire fight. One of them was before the fight. It was before the fight, and it was showing Deontay pacing back and forth, getting stretched out, getting wrapped up, yeah. and then it shows Tyson not even fucking like. Ready to go, just chilling on the couch watching yeah. the other fights. Yep. I was like, what's up, you know? Yep. And the second part was <laughs> whenever he was clenched up oh, with yeah. Wilder, and he was yeah, he was ah, <laughs> he was yeah, licking, he was pretending to lick the blood off of his neck because he don't knew. Think, I don't think he, he knew at that point. I don't think he really. Everybody's saying that he really he licked his blood. He didn't I, actually lick it. No, no, no he didn't. He just, like we watched it live. Yeah. He because that's what he said. He said I wanted to. T- he, I want to taste blood. Is what he said. Yeah. And. Yeah, there, did, you, there bud, you go, yeah. bud. Yeah. There you go. But yeah, he just—he's a hell of a fighter. So he's back. He's here to stay. Um, maybe boxing is back now. They're talking about um, Anthony Joshua now being the next fight for Tyson Fury. Which, good luck. Good luck. The, you don't the, think so? No, <clears throat> no. Uh, Joshua is a good fighter and all, but but damn it, Tyson Fury is a, a, a man on a mission now. He's a big man with big cardio. Big cardio. Big. Oh, in big shorts. I forgot. I forgot to wear my shorts like that today. Oh, uh, no, I forgot. These make me look yeah. taller. Mm. Up to here. If you wear your up shorts to here, son. up to here, yeah. And they, you look real fucking tall. You look tall <laughs> as a motherfucker. I can't wait for the summer to get here. That's how I'm going to wear all my shorts. <laughs> Do I look tall? Yeah. Anybody no, ask like me why? I'm going to I'm gonna try to pretend to look down on them, even if they're way taller than me, and talk like this. <laughs> I'm taller than you, boy. <laughs> it did. It made him look like he was seven twelve, though, instead of like six eleven. Yeah, it did. Because he was all legs, bro. Yeah. Like, it look, he looked seven twelve and like six hundred pounds. It looked. Oh man. Yeah. 
He looked like a beast. He, he looked like a beast. Hey, go to our website right now, theasylum.productions. Uh, while you're there, click on all the tabs, all of our social media links. We've got Facebook. We've got Instagram. We've got Twitter uh, warming up once again. And, of course, we've got the Patreon. Please go to that. Um, and, 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 yeah, send, send, the, uh, send the subscriptions, the, uh, the monies. Money's our way because we, we want to do this. We want to do this shit. We want to go to Cleveland more. We want to go back to Jacksonville more. We've got New Orleans just sitting there. You know, we were supposed to be at Mardi Gras this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to talk about it, um, but we were supposed to be at Mardi Gras this weekend. We got Texas lined up. We've got a lot of cool shit. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to get much more into it because a lot of this shit surprises, but just know that's, that's the town's coming near you soon. Uh, New you know Orleans. What was the most surprising. What's that? Was the weather in Cleveland? Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> beautiful, bro. It was like I mean, it was fucking cold, it was cold but, but it was clear skies, crisp. no problems. Yeah, back here, forget about it. Still fucking raining. Still fucking raining. It rained here while in we were gone, and guess what? Whenever, as soon as we got into Kentucky, we left in a snow blizzard. If you remember Thursday, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, out yeah. Of nowhere, like. Yeah. So we left in a snow blizzard. Yeah, and soon as, as soon as we got in, it was one of those. It was one of those from, from last year. We were making all those Florida trips. Oh, yeah. We would leave here in just shitty conditions. And then just be nice. Everybody would watch our sunny. videos and see photos and be like, <laughs> fuck you. And then, uh, yeah, it's like we'd come back and it was it's like, it's just something about it. It's something about oh, when yeah, we travel. Weird. Whenever we travel, it, it brings the weather doesn't weather. follow us. Yeah, good. Thank Briefly. God. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, chi- uh, Chicago. Cleveland weather reminds me of Chicago and San Francisco weather. Like, not to the extent of the of the breeze, but that water blowing off Lake Erie is a lot like, uh, I get, what is that, Lake Michigan down in Chicago or the bay right there in San Francisco. Once that air whips in, hits that water through the buildings, whoo, yeah, nipples cut all the glass. Son. <laughs> uh, even on the crispest, clearest day, you would imagine. So yeah, I, Cleveland, man, I can't say enough about the good time that we had. My, the that downfall was, was nobody, nobody looked across the street, the street or, or to the, the to our left at the apartment. apartment. I'd like to have some Chinese. That, that was a buffet, buffet too, bro. That was a buffet. I know, my favorite. You know how many strawberry, strawberry milkshakes and fucking French fries I ate this weekend? weekend? Too many. I, there's too many because I just didn't want the burgers. You guys yeah. were just killing double quarter pounders. And I was like, I just don't want it. I just want the I think fries. I had, what did I have? I think I had a total of like five uh-huh. double quarter pounder meals mm-hmm. with extra cheese. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to poop for a month. Nah, I poop. No, you're good then. Yeah, Never mind. You're right on track. You're young. You can still eat cheese and be functional. I think I'm a little lactose intolerant, so it doesn't exactly block me up. It does the opposite. Through. Just power through. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, back to what I was saying, social media wise, um, we're going to be on the road a few times this year. We're not going to give dates, but we give, we'll give a, a, a little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, we are going to make an appearance in New Orleans, Louisiana, at some point uh, this coming year. Of course, we're coming back to Jacksonville, Florida, at some point this year. Um, we'll be in Nashville and Nashville, uh, Tennessee. We're going to be in College Station, Texas. That's supposed to happen as well this year. Uh, like I said, no dates, no promises. Uh, it's just all stuff we're working on. Uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, and if you want more, we may in-depth. work another tattoo convention. In uh, also, in yeah. either yeah, either Cincinnati is what I'm hearing, or um, down the road in Nashville. Yeah, either or, uh, or or Asheville, yeah, North Carolina, Nashville, so, yeah, Asheville, Nashville or Asheville, in Asheville, in Asheville. That's rough to say. That's 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 hard to say. In Asheville. See, I just, I did. In Nashville. It, in yeah. Nashville. Yeah. yeah. In Nashville. In Isn't Nashville. It, there's also a Nashville, North Carolina, though, too. <clears throat> I think. There is, yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There yeah. Is. So maybe we're just being confused for no reason. Maybe it's all in North Carolina. So we're going to take the show to North Carolina this year, too, apparently. Um, but yeah, we are going to, we're, we're set to do a uh, another tattoo convention as well. Um, yeah, busy. Busy 2020 out of nowhere. Just filled up our our time slots real quick for all the information on what we're doing plus a lot lot more go to the website theasylum.productions uh, go to our patreon account we thank you ahead of time for everything you guys are doing for us as uh, you're enabling us to be able to do this shit for you guys and that's what we love to do is get out here and act a fool and have a good time we love you we love you you'll be our boyfriend you'll be my friend you'll be my boyfriend i will be your friend 
and give you three dollars on your Patreon account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also uh, coming is uh, updates to the studio. Huh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Look at all these things we got to hang now. No, 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 no. We got f- tattoo flash. We got all kinds of business yeah, cards. Yeah. We got signs. We got banners. You know what we don't have? Fucking time. The ambition. Time. Oh. The what? <laughs> the ambition. I think we got the ambition. Oh, okay. It's just, I got three jobs. I got kids. <laughs> My shins hurt. I got cerebral palsy. I got cerebral palsy. <laughs> It'll get you far in life. It'll, that'll get you real far in life. I think that's about it. I think we covered everything. Yeah, yeah, we, we covered the whole weekend we too. Got, we got it all down to a science. Um, also, don't forget go to dirtycomment.com. Uh, friend of the show, James Robertson. He's got a, a badass, actually two badass books on there. Um, it's called Harness the Stars. It's if you know the story of Spinal Tap, that's what I compare it to, with his permission. Because I was like, dude, that's kind of like Spinal Tap in space, <laughs> space hookers and shit like that. It's it's really fun. Um, I read it. It's a good read. It's a good read. Go to our website. Check it out. Uh, the Asylum Dot Productions. I think that's going to wrap it up for us today for Inked and Chattered. Um, man, it's been fun. I'm so fucking tired. I want to eat, but yeah, I also I'm just want to sit down and watch ballers at the same time. I got so many things to do. Laundry. I'm just going to slip into a nice deep coma. Mm. After eating another du- double quarter pounder. I was going to say, you're going to go to McDonald's right now? <laughs> Let's do it. Until next week, thank you guys once again. We're out.